All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about small victories on the road. Let's check it out. What's going on YouTube? FXDLS Brooklyn is back in the building. And if you've been following some of the road trip content, you know we've been having issues with this chain, but we just got adjusted so you can see way more tighter, you know, hopefully not too tight. But I feel like, well first off, shout out to this Polaris dealership, Golden Spike Power Sports, out here in Idaho, for taking the time to help us out and adjust it. So yeah, you know, we weren't carrying around a torque wrench with us, we weren't carrying around X amount of tools that you need for that job. So, I was kind of riding with it just probably slapping all over the place for, I don't know, the last thousand miles or so. And when I would look at Bong Asphalt's footage that he'd be taking of me riding and I'd just be looking at the chain just slapping all over the damn place. And everyone that I sent it to was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's way too loose. It's definitely really tight now. It's definitely really taut. And I feel like I've run it that tight before. You know, back in 2019 when we stopped at, it was House of Harley Davidson out in Milwaukee. One of their techs had tightened it for me. And it, I kind of remember it being just as tight as it is now. So that gives me some confidence that we're kind of good to keep running and that we did the right thing by taking care of the chain. And yeah, it was, if you saw some of my previous videos, it's been definitely a sketchy last uh, day or two, just worrying about that chain. But now, you know, with it being adjusted properly and not slapping around all over the place, I feel pretty confident that we can at least get the Sturgis, you know, before having to think about replacing that chain. Which who knows, man, like maybe we'll get there, show it to a dealership, and they might say that, yeah, you could actually keep riding on it. Who knows, but anyway, it's a small victory. And on these road trips, when you're facing hard day after hard mile after calamity, you gotta take time to celebrate your small victories, which getting taken care of and over at that uh, Polaris dealership out here in Idaho, that's a small victory, you know. At the end of the day, it just comes back to celebrating all motorcycles and the motorcycle community beyond Harley-Davidson. And, you know, Harley guys definitely have that reputation of trash talking or making fun of bikes that are not Harley-Davidson, so I always do my best to be accepting of all bikes, not just Harleys. And today was a day where, you know, something that was not Harley-Davidson potentially saved us some uh, craziness and calamity in this trip, so we appreciate that. So yeah, right now the chain is definitely tight. Definitely not going to be touching that bracket or the swing arm. And hopefully uh, that was the right move. You know, and I'm glad that I caught it when I did because I don't think I was going to be wanting to ride on it the way it was for a whole lot longer. Again, it was just pretty, pretty sketchy at that point. As always, make sure you look over your bike when you're putting in these heavy mile days. You gotta catch things like that before they become a major problem. We're gonna keep enjoying our ride as we pass through Yellowstone and I think we're gonna try to hit 
the legendary bear tooth pass today, which uh, was something that we didn't get to do five years ago when we came here. So it's going to be a day. Definitely going to be a day. But as always, stay safe out there. Stay low. Maintain a positive mental attitude when things go wrong, because just as things go wrong, things also go right. Just remember, when the darkest of the night comes the dawn, right? Listen to the Bad Brains and all that, FX DLS Brooklyn is out.